So I appreciate all of you coming by today. Um, what we're going to do in the webinar today is just show you a couple of the new features that we have with the TRW Stone Wizard 2.1. So I think that we do currently have all of the webinars. Oh, Laverne, real quick, um, disappointed you missed yesterday's class. No worries. Solution to that, we're going to have another one of the exact same webinar uh, tomorrow on the 30th at 3 p.m. again. So tomorrow at 3 p.m., we actually have TRW Lounge at 10.30 a.m. tomorrow. That's where you can come by, just hang out, ask questions. I can answer questions. Anything you have that may help your business, that's at 10.30 Eastern Time. And then at 3 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, we're going to do the exact, because we actually had too many in the class. It completely filled up the class. And I know a lot of people missed out. They weren't able to sign in. So we apologize for that. But we actually, what we did um, this morning is we upped our count. So now we can have up to 500 of you in every class, which is going to be awesome. So there's never going to be a limitation again as far as how many people can come to the class. And um, then we will never have, obviously, that issue again. So we did record yesterday's class as well. Yes, we did, Kate. So that is already posted on our YouTube channel. So you can watch that. Just go to our YouTube channel. You can watch the full recording of yesterday's as well. But I like to be in the class with you guys, be live, be able to answer questions kind of as they come in. And um, we're going to do another live session tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So um, we don't have that link up yet. We will get that link up, link up either this afternoon or first thing tomorrow morning to register for that class. Um, to sign up for the TRW Lounge, Michelle, we're going to get that link up here right after the webinar for this afternoon. Or we'll get it up this afternoon to be able to sign up for the lounge. What we did is we normally didn't list them too early because we didn't want to run into the issue that we came to yesterday as far as having too many of you in the class. So normally we would give a little bit less time as far as planning, which this is nice now that we have this new plan, we can have up to 500 of you in a class. What our goal is, is we want to get a webinar um, basically schedule out to you weeks in advance. So you can say, you know what, on November, November 15th, they're doing a webinar on this at this time. I really want to go. I can set my schedule to that. Okay, so we want to make it a lot easier for you and, and never run into an issue where anybody's ever able to or isn't able to get into a class because we have so many. So yes, thank you, Sarah. Yes, having too many people in the class is an awesome thing. A little frustrating for us yesterday because we obviously I felt bad that a lot of people set time out of their schedule to come to the class and it filled up with over the 100 people. So that's why we did definitely look into and we've been looking into it for a while. Honestly, that's only the second time I think that that's ever happened where we haven't had people be able to get into the class. So I think um, with all the shows and everything we're doing in 2015 with trainings coming up, we just trying to be proactive with it now and make it so it doesn't happen again. Okay. All right, so first question, everybody that's in here. Now, we do have, uh, we have Doc Rhinestone here answering questions. So anybody that has any questions, make sure to type them in the questions here. Doc's going to be answering any questions that come in. I'll also be paying attention to the questions and um, answer them throughout the process as well. But everything that I'm going to be going over today is pretty easy. First thing is, did, has everybody upgraded to the 2.1? So as long as you have the 2.0, upgrading to the 2.1 is a free update. So we call it an update rather than an upgrade because normally the upgrades are paid and then the updates are free. So again, yes, we added features that are going to help your business, save you a lot of time. Um, yes, there was a lot of time involved in doing all the coding and everything for this. But hopefully our goal is that it's obviously going to make your business more money, make your design time quicker. And um, it wasn't enough to where we said, you know what, this should be a paid actual upgrade. We said, you know what, we, we got some new features in here. It's awesome. They're going to love them, but let's just give them to them for free. So it's going to help their business. And then 
obviously eventually maybe when we get up to like a 2.5 or a 3.0 and get a lot of new features in that's when obviously it'll get to where it may be a, a paid update okay so I do see some questions coming through here um, it all depends some uh, um, had a question some of the buttons now the only reason any of the buttons would be a little bit squished uh, Debbie is if for some reason because what we did do is we allowed you to be able to edit so like see the fill between two stones I'm thinking that's what you're talking about there Debbie is it loses a little bit of the word stones well we can't really change the text when we do when we put in this feature here but what we did is obviously you know what that button does and <clears throat> there's only a few buttons that that actually happens to but what was more important to us was obviously yes when it's two lines of text but some people have smaller screens and they're getting something like this where we wanted to obviously give you the option to be able to shrink the wizard down so it's all on your screen so you don't have buttons hanging off the end that you have to move it every time to get to so we figured you can obviously always go back to the 100% where the old way is, and that's going to be just what you had before, but if you were to obviously want to shrink it down depending on the screen resolution, then you can actually do that. Okay? Okay, we do have a couple questions. Every, can everybody still hear me? I'm seeing Charles isn't able to hear me now. Everybody can still hear me good? Okay, Charles, yeah, just check something. It may be something with your, I'm not sure if it's with your connection. It looks like everybody is saying yes, they can hear right now. But again, we're recording it, so worst case scenario, you can watch the recorded version as well. Okay, perfect. So I see most of you are upgraded already to the 2.1. So we did kind of a soft release on it. We, we know we did have a couple issues, but again, it was a free update, so... We, we wanted to make sure, kind of get it out to some people, find out what was going on with it, and we were able to, I think, solve that problem yesterday. So I think we are all good now, and we should be good to go from here out as far as installing the 2.1, okay? So how many of you first, one of the biggest features with the 2.1 that we did was the magic envelope? So how many of you currently are using the magic envelope or seeing the different templates that we have with the magic envelope? So again, what our, my plan was with the magic envelope was find a way to somehow save you time and you be able to get a lot of different mock-ups and good-looking designs to your customer in the minimal amount of time. So as you can see, this is our baseball softball magic template. So you can see all the different templates that we have here. And this is an actual package that we have available on the website now. So you can see all of them are a little bit different because we know every school or league or team or whatever it is has a has a different preference. Some people might like something more basic like this Pirates baseball here. Some may want the infield and the bats and the diamond and the envelopes and everything else with custom information like this. So what I wanted to do is was to be able to create something in the wizard that's going to speed up that entire process and be able to allow you to get something to that school or league or any of those customers that's going to show them exactly what you can create for them. They pick the design, you create, throw it onto a mock-up real quick, you sell a shirt and you're good to go. And that time is very, very minimal as far as designing for you. So I'm going to show you kind of how one of these works. So the TRW Baseball Softball Magic Templates, what we do with those is that's just the image of it. So when you bring it in from our website, you're actually going to get three different files. So we kind of broke them up and I'll pull them in here. You're going to bring in different EPS files. So there's one of them. I'm going to bring in my second one here. There's the second one and bring in my third one here. There's my third one. So you can see all the different templates and then you'll see our envelopes around it. So we can go ahead and just come up here to rotate it. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees and now I have everything straight the way that I want. So what I want to do is, obviously, I can put any name I want on there, make it look cool, and then say it takes this amount of time. What I want to do is 
make sure that you guys can obviously do the same thing that I do, whether it's in a video or whether you see it's something that I posted. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and someone let me know a high school, some type of high school or team, even a team in your local area. Like, for example, Lakewood Ranch Mustangs or some type of, like, give me a full name, whether it's um, Lakewood Ranch Mustangs, Braden River Pirates, something like that. Okay, I got something right here. Patty gave me Northwest Lions. So let's do Northwest Lions. Patty, you were the first one to get it in there, so we'll, we'll do yours first. So I'm just going to come over here to my text tool. Now, first thing I want to do is when I bring my objects in through an EPS file, we do want to break them apart. So I'm just going to highlight all of these and come over here to the wizard and ungroup all. Okay? So now all of these are individual objects. Okay? So I ungrouped all those. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go Northwest Lions. So I'm going to come over to my text tool. I'm going to use my caps lock and go Northwest. And I'm just using a college black font here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go Lions. And then Patty, give me a um, give me a custom number that you would like. Any type of custom number. You got a custom number for me? Uh oh, Michelle Michelle's got number five. Anything for me, Patty? Uh oh, I'm seeing all kinds of numbers come in. Okay, the first number that doubled up was 27. So we'll go 27. And obviously, it doesn't matter what number's here. You can put whatever, whatever number you want in it. And then I'm also going to do, let's go second base. So this is just, again, we're just showing what they can do with the design. So we're going to go second base. So let's go ahead and get the northwest in where we want it. So I'm going to click on northwest. And if I hold shift and click onto this area of where I want it to go, hit my magic envelope, you can see what I got right there. So very easy to add that to the envelope. Click on Lions, hold Shift, and if I wanted to, I could put Lions down there like that, or I could do something like this. This is what I would probably do. I would come up here and do Lions, and then I would come over here and change this to Baseball. Hold Shift, Magic Envelope. There's baseball. Now we got Northwest and we have a custom number. If I click on 27, hit my custom number area, magic envelope, it's going to drop that in there perfect. Then Northwest, let's say I want to put Northwest into that little area, drops that perfect. And then whatever else you want. You can add something else into the side here. Or you know what actually would look pretty cool with the wording that we have here. Let's try this. Let's get rid of lions get rid of baseball. I'm going to put baseball right here. Then I'm going to put Lions at the bottom and I'm going to put Northwest at the top. Click on the yellow, select same color. We can get rid of all of our yellows and there's our design completely done. So did that seem pretty easy to be able to make a pretty awesome design like that? with the envelopes. You don't have to worry about doing any type of envelopes. That's done, ready to go. Okay? So, now watch this. We want to obviously show them a sample of everything. Okay? So we want to show them what it looks like on all of these different designs and different templates. So if I click on, <clears throat> let's say we want to do Northwest Lions just like we did, I can click on Northwest. If I hold Shift, I can even drag across all of the area. See how it selected all that? Or I can go Shift and then just click every area that I want Northwest. So I want it there, there, there. Let's say I want it at the top here, here, here. Um, let's see where else. I want Northwest at the top here, top there. We can go maybe the top over here, the top over here. So again, I'm handpicking everywhere I want Northwest to go, and then we can hit Magic Envelope, and look what it did. Every place I selected, it threw Northwest in there perfectly, okay? Now we want to do Lions. So I'm going to click on Lions, 
everywhere I want it to go. So I want it to go here, here, here. I want it real big right there. And let's go to the bottom down here. Actually, I don't. I'm going to go baseball there. And then let's go lions here, um, wherever we want again. So you can hand pick how you want to design it. And then when I hit magic envelope, there it is. Now I want baseball. I want baseball to go, let's say, right there. I want baseball on the bottom there. I want baseball here. I want baseball over to the side here. Magic envelopes, it's going to hit it perfect. So does that make sense as far as what everybody's seen, how easy once you have the templates like this, how easy the ma magic envelopes is? And now here's another cool thing about it. Watch this. So let's just say we have that Lions baseball, and that's the one we like, okay? So I'm going to click on one of my yellows, select same color, and get rid of all of them. So there's a bunch of different designs we just created. Let's get rid of everything else that we have here, because they chose this one right here. Now we can still do multiple colors on this. So if we wanted Lions to be, I don't know, red, and we wanted baseball to be red, and everything else here to be black easy weed. Throw that onto a men's shirt. We can go over here to mockups, go to men's shirt. We have our TRW logo. Drop it onto this men's shirt. What it's going to do, it's going to run through the process here, change this background color to white, and check out how awesome that is. So see how cool that is as far as, and how simple that was? That's an awesome looking mock-up that we're going to be able to send to that customer right now. We gave them 18 different choices or whatever it is, and now they can say, hey, that's the one I like. Drop them a quick mock-up proof, be able to send it to them. If they want it to be all black easy weed, obviously we can just make it all black. Let's say they wanted a different color shirt, so we can change the background to white. Let's go ahead and change this, which of course it, most of you know is my favorite, is who knows what my favorite um, heat transfer vinyl is for the shirts that I make. I say it all the oh, there we go, everybody, silver lens, yep. So I go to the electric, I go to the silver lens, now I click on the shirt, let's change it to a black shirt, and check out how awesome that looks. So again, now I got my silver lens on a black shirt, if you want to change it to a green shirt, we can do a green shirt, whatever you want. Um, had a question here as far as templates and the ease of use. Don't have a huge customer base for sports. Will there be other themes available in the templates? Yes, Sarah, yes there will. So <clears throat> obviously a lot of our customers do a lot of sports-based stuff. So obviously our first templates that we're creating are sports-based, but we are going to definitely be getting into some different types of templates and different types of uh, magic envelopes to make it easier for you. Karen, we're actually working on the soccer one right now. I was actually just working on it a little bit before this webinar. So the soccer one will actually probably be the next one released. Okay, so let me give you another idea, and I'll give you another example of it. Another thing we're going to start coming out with are different, again, now the magic envelopes, there's so many options when it comes to this to making your life a lot easier. So one of them that we just released last night is this one here. So let me pull this in. Now this right here is our hockey decal magic templates, okay? So you can see all of these are car decals. So we started out with hockey. You can see a bunch of different hockey silhouette players here. And what we're going to do is we have the magic templates all built, again, for a hockey team. You can send them and customize it to whatever hockey name they have, get the different uh, custom number and position in there, get them over a mock-up real quick, throw it on the back window of a car, show them exactly what it's going to look like. So check this out. Let me pull the hockey in here. So let's go ahead and ro rotate it 90 degrees. Now it comes in as an EPS, so we're going to ungroup it, and there's all of our different templates. So how many hockey fans do we have in here today with us? Do we have a lot of hockey fans? Give me a team name, hockey fans. 
Hockey fans, hockey fans. What we got? Oh, we got first one, Russ. Russ wins with the Sharks. So we're going to go Sharks hockey and then show you how we can do some different custom names and um, or custom numbers and stuff. So obviously they know it's hockey, so we can do custom names as well. So check this out. We got Sharks, and then we got Hockey, and we'll do a custom name here. And since Russ won that one, we're going to go Russ. What number we got, Russ? What's your favorite number, buddy? Russ's favorite number is 26. 26 it is. Okay, so watch this. Sharks, I want the team name up here to be Sharks, so watch. I'm going to go back to my edit where my magic envelopes is. Hold shift. See how I selected that whole row and hit it? There's all my Sharks. I can do it. Click Sharks, select the whole row, select the whole next row. Magic envelope, there's all my Sharks. Let's say this first row right here, we want Hockey. So magic envelope and the next two rows right here, we want Russ number 26, magic envelope. And even if we didn't put the 26 there, we could do the 26 on the side as well. So watch, 26 and come over here and position Rush. What position we got, Russ? Right wing, left wing, defenseman, center, okay. Center it is. So we're just going center. 26. We want the 26. Now again, I can just highlight down the edge here. And if we wanted custom number 26 to go on all of these little boxes, see how I'm just highlighting those boxes? So magic envelopes, there's all of our 26s. This side we want to put a position. So highlight all of those areas for the position. And magic envelope. Now what we can do, select one of the yellows, select the same color. Let's go ahead and move the yellows out of there. We don't need those anymore. And now you have this to be able to, I mean, that took us 45 seconds, a minute, whatever it was, and we just created 15 different, 15 different um, actual car decals for your FTC sign vinyl or whatever you want. You can also do it with your heat transfer vinyl as well. So very easy. Um, we did have a question. My wording gets skewed in some of the... Okay, Kate, as far as skewed, do you mean if you put a real long word in, it just kind of pushes it all together? Kate's question was, my wording gets skewed in some of the magic envelopes. Um, depending on the magic envelope, some of them, if you're talking about where like the bottom of an S gets a little skewed or something, you can do different things. So, for example, if you do P for putty and do magic envelope, that will probably fix that, Kate. So just choose one of your different selections here. Vertical works probably 95% of the time. But if that does happen, switch to O for original or P for putty, and then do the magic envelope, and it should probably fix that for you. Okay? So now we obviously want to show um, Russ as a goalie. Oh, well, we can't put you as the goalie because you're a sinner. Okay, so it looks like, which one? This one right here looks like you're getting ready to score, Russ. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these. This is the one we picked. We're five inch, five and a half by five and a half. I'm going to change this to my white. So if I wanted the white sign vinyl for it, highlight the design. Let's go ahead and go to mockups. I'm going to go logo. I'm going to go accessories. And then I'm come over here to my car decal and bam, there we go. Check that out. Perfect looking vinyl car decal thrown onto the car for you. It gives you a big example of it, your logo here. And then, again, you're not having to spend time and money and material as far as creating a physical sample for your customer. You have it right here. Show them exactly what it looks like on the back of the car, and you're good to go. So, again, a few minutes right there, we were able to create all of those 15 different car decal. So, and I know I say it in a lot of videos, 5x5 five five vinyl car decal right here goes on the back window of a car. What do we sell that for? What would you guess you sell? Now, it's, now remember, it's custom, so they can't get it anywhere else. 
what would you actually sell a vinyl car decal like this for? Okay, I see everybody's right around 13, 10, 12, 10, 10, 9, 10, 12, 15, 12, 15. Okay, exactly. Now, everybody that just posted what you're going to sell it for, can you give me the, your actual cost in signed vinyl and transfer tape for this? What's your actual cost? I've said it in a lot of different webinars. Oh, everybody's, that's good. You guys are watching these. That's awesome. Okay, so your actual cost, depending on the amount of signed vinyl that you buy, so it's all quantity-based pricing, but your cost is going to be right around 17 to 20 cents in actual cost. So margins are absolutely ridiculous on this. So this is where you want to, I mean, you have a vinyl cutter, you're doing heat transfer vinyl, you're doing rhinestones, you have to, it's a must, you must be doing sign vinyl as well, just because of those margins. It allows you to do awesome fundraisers for your schools, and with those fundraisers for the schools, you can give them literally a 50% discount, charge them $10, $12, to the, to the actual customer that's going to be purchasing the decal. The school charges them 10 or $12. You give the school a 50% discount. So let's say they charge $12. They're paying you $6 for each decal. They're advertising for you. You don't have to go out and do all of the actual ordering. The school is going to send you and say, hey, here's, here's 200 decals that we collected all the money for, here's one mass payment of this amount for 200 decals, and you're still going to make $6. So think about it. $6, that means you're making $5.83 on each one. So every single one, even, I mean, they're at, the school is actually going to make more money than you, which is fine because if the school makes more money than you, then you are... Obviously, the school is going to love you. You're going to be able to get in there and do shirts. You're going to be able to get in there and do everything you want. So sign vinyl, something huge that you definitely want to get into because it's going to make you a lot of money, but it's also going to increase your customer base. So any questions real quick on the um, actual sign vinyl and the magic envelopes with the sign vinyl part of it? Everybody's good? Awesome. Awesome. And just a quick, just to get a quick idea, how many of you here are actually using sign vinyl already and making decals like this? Are, may, are every one of you already doing this? Hopefully, and if you aren't, then that's fine, because now you will be. Just because you're going to see how easy it is, and we're going to start having a lot more with the sign vinyl and the decals. Okay? All right, perfect. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and delete this here. And then I'm going to show you one more that we have. And this is another one that we just released last night. And this one here is our tail designs. So let me go ahead and rotate this. So these tail designs, we started out, we have football, softball, volleyball, soccer, gymnastics, baseball, lacrosse, swimming, basketball, hockey, tennis, and cheer. So, again, we want to make it as easy as possible for you. So, if, can everybody see it here? I see a couple of you said that you're not seeing on the screen. Can everybody see all the different tail designs? Okay, awesome. So, one thing, again, we did all of the work for you here. So all of the work for you, as in when I go here, you're going to see these already have the magic trap built into it. So you don't have to worry about anything with the magic trap. Don't have to worry about changing anything out. And then we already have the magic envelopes built into the tail part of the design. So I'm going to ungroup it all. So now you can see all of our envelopes are actually in here. Now we can say, okay, football, and you want football mom or whatever you want. You want football superstar. So you can type out anything you want. So I'm going to go superstar, and we want superstar to go into all of these. We, we're a football superstar, softball, and volleyball superstar. So we're all-around athlete here. We're going to go ahead and click on each of these. Magic envelope, 
There's our superstar built in perfectly for me. Now I have a couple different options. When I'm here, if I want to keep it the same color as what this is, I can click on superstar. I can hold shift, click on the red. So I got the red area now and I can actually run a magic trap. So now this is magic trapped for me. Okay, very easy to do. And that's the reason why we did it that way and have the magic trap feature. Okay, the other option you have is click on superstar, hold shift, click on the red, and I'm going to go ahead and hit trim. And what trim does is this. It actually trims it out. So let's say, for example, they were wearing a blue shirt. We could have a blue shirt, send it to the back, and now it's going to be the shirt showing through instead of actually another vinyl. Okay, does that make sense to everybody what I did there? So you have the option of, either way, these are a two-color design as they come through. But again, the great part about it is we want all of the designs to be as versatile as possible. So watch this. Say, for example, we have the superstar there, and I take this red and completely get rid of it. Well, now we have a one-color volleyball superstar design. So you can still use it like this, and then let's say that they had that blue shirt again. You want to save some heat transfer vinyl, not cut as many, or whatever color shirt they have. They have a pink shirt. I can click on this pink shirt, and then you're going to get this onto the actual shirt, where it's the shirt showing through in all that open area. Okay? Everybody get where I'm coming at with that? as far as your different options that you have with things like this. So even though you see it as a two-color design, we always try to think ahead as much as we can and say, okay, well, what if they don't want a two-color design? What if they want a one-color design with just the fill? Well, there you go again. And then what I could do is click on both of them, trim out Superstar, move that out of the way. Now you have a one-color design like this. So, I mean, with these designs, you almost, you basically have three different options. So, if I, say we had a purple shirt, and we have this option here to have the white or whatever color you want it. We have this option here, an alternate white, so you can compare them. And then we also have this option here, where, let me get rid of our yellow. And we want to go ahead and let's say we want to do a magic trap with this part. So click there, there, and magic trap. And we have this, and I can make these white as well. So with these tails, basically you have your two-color design that you have an option to offer to your customers. You have a one-color fill design. You have a one-color outline design. Make sense to everybody? Um, is there a select invert option on the wizard? Uh, yes, Abel, it's right here, invert selection. So yes, we do have an invert selection. <clears throat> ah, didn't know that, did you? <laughs> okay, so everybody get an idea as far as how the actual um, magic envelope works? Everybody think that those envelopes are going to be able to save you some time? Yes, awesome. And that was our main goal is to be able to do it. And, and these are features, again, these are features that we can do inside of CorelDRAW, but instead of clicking one button, it's literally 15 clicks, and the 15 clicks are only doing one at a time where we've given you the option to drop it into a 100 different templates at the same time if you want. So again, like I always say, time is money. So if you can create a design in 45 seconds instead of 10 minutes, then you know what? Over the course of 100 designs, that's a big difference in time, which is going to be money. Okay, and we did have a question. That's what I was getting ready to go over right now, Kim. Kim had a question as far as what is the difference between the V, the O, the H, and the P, okay? So let's say, for example, and again, we like to try and teach you guys everything we can. So let's say, for example, you want to create your own magic envelope. So if I go to my envelope tool here, 
And with my envelope doctor, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. And I'm just going to draw a square. So I'm just going to, let's go 9.8 8 inches, a decent size. I'm going to go to Add New Envelope. And let's just drag it up. Actually, I can drag up from the bottom like that. If I hold Shift and drag, it's going to bring them both in. And that's how we're doing a lot of those um, envelope tools. If I add, grab Control, then it's going to move both of them up at the same time. So Shift brings them together or basically balloons them apart. And then control is actually going to move both of them the same way compared to the opposite ways. And then if I don't have shift or control, then it's just moving one of them. Does everybody see that? Um, Chris, magic envelopes can only be used on templates purchased from TRW. What would you guess, Chris? You know we're always going to take care of you as much as possible. No. Magic envelopes are, that, and that's what I'm showing you here, you can create your own envelopes. We want you to be able to, we don't, we don't want everything to be, oh, I have to get that from TRW, and that's the only way it will work. We want our software to work with every file possible and allow you guys to be able to do custom stuff with it, because that's how you're going to obviously make money. So we have this here. And this envelope here, I'm going to give you a couple different options. So let's just type out, what word am I going to type out? Imagine that, baseball. Okay. So we got baseball here. I'm just going to create four different ones and show you some different options. So baseball to this top left one, vertical magic envelope, that's what I'm going to get. Baseball to the top right one, original and this is what I'm going to get. So the original, depending on the shape of the object, you can see this is basically the exact same right here. Now if I go to putty, this is what I'm going to get. So there's, you can see a little bit of a difference in this one, but still not much because we have straight lines there. And that's what I'll show you in this next one. And then the horizontal just gets crazy. So click on horizontal, and this is what we get. So it just gives you a very weird kind of effect, but again, completely different. So now I'm going to give you a pretty cool feature with these magic envelopes is watch this. Let's just say, and now I'm going to show you, most of you know that I use the Beast Blind tool a lot. For some reason in Corel, it doesn't work right with the envelope tools when you draw a Beast Blind, but I've already found out a fix for it, so I'll show you that. So I'm just going to draw something here, and just something crazy. So I'm going to go there to there, and I'm going to come straight down here, and go here to here to here to here, go to here, and go to there. Okay? So I have a, some type of flag look or whatever this is here. Who knows? but I just drew a completely random shape, okay? So if I click on baseball, hold shift, and do magic envelope, it says object error. And it only does it with the beast blind tool, but no worries. A way you can fix that is if you come over here to your smart fill tool and just do a smart fill of your actual object. So complete, exact same object, I just did a quick smart fill of it. And then I'll go baseball and magic envelope, and bam, there it is, perfect. <clears throat> See that? So again, I wanted to show you that trick because I know what's going to happen. A lot of you, just like I did, you're going to use a beast blind tool. You're going to create a cool object, and then you're going to try and and whether it's the wizard or whether it's actual um, Corel draw, it still doesn't envelope in for some reason. So. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. We're trying to find out why that's happening, but this is the solution to fix it so that you don't get frustrated like I was getting. So teach you it so, to avoid some frustration on your side. Now I'm going to show you the different options. Click on both of those. Original. See, now when the original is completely random pass, you can see it gets a completely different look. So, again, this one right here is my vertical, so always make sure to go straight up and down. This is my original. Now let's go to my putty, which is the P. Oh, let's go here, 
and we got our putty. So there's our putty. So our putty is following along with the design, getting more like my vertical. And then our last one again is where it gets crazy. We're going to do our horizontal, and bam, there we are with our horizontal. Okay? Everybody get an idea as far as how it works? So I know a lot of you have purchased, for example, um, we've had some different vector packs out for a long time. So we've had some vector packs that were, and I'll pull one in here for you just to show you. So again, of course, we're going to create a vector pack of this, but I want to show you actually how to do it to where if you've already purchased a pack in the past or any of our um, different vector designs, you can create something yourself. So let me pull in. I'm just going to pull in the hockey ones again real quick. So here's our hockey designs. So let's rotate it to 90. So ungroup it all. And let's just say we have this hockey player right here. Okay. So how many of you currently have some of our vector packs of like the hockey player and the baseball player and the cheerleader and things like that? Okay. We're going to probably, of course, create magic templates for those. But you guys have already purchased the actual vector. That's the hardest part of it. So could I say, or could I have just kept it hush-hush and, and created a magic templates? And chances are a lot of people would have bought the magic templates one as well. Well, yes, of course, but that's not the way that I am. So that's why I'm showing you here exactly how you're going to be able to do it. And because you already, again, you already paid money for these vector designs. So you shouldn't have to pay for basically what you're getting in the other one, the vector design. Only thing I'm really adding on to it is the, the magic template part. Okay? And I'm thinking what my thought was, just to let you know, those of you that have created those, that have those packs, down the road, once we get our other ones created, I'm going to show you how to do it here, obviously, to save you money. But what we'll probably eventually do is go back to those packs, create the magic envelopes and the magic templates for them, and sell the same packs right where you are. So those of you that have purchased those, down the road, once we get to it, then you'll just be able to go back to your order history and get it with the templates all built in for it. Okay? So let me show you how easy this is. Watch this. I'm going to go, let's say, five and a half inches just drew a square here. My envelope tool, I'm going to add new, drag this up. Oh, let me go. I didn't hit OK. So add new, drag that up. And we got that there. And then we have, I'm going to just drag and copy that down. Come up here and hit my mirror vertically. Drag that up to there. Now, because I did a mirror vertically, watch, and I'll just show you. Type out baseball, add baseball to here, and it's going to do something weird for me there, okay? Now, if I'm not on horizontal and I'm on vertical, bam, there it is. So, again, I like to do the colors just because visually I can say, hey, yellow, that's a magic envelope, so I know that I can use my magic envelope in the wizard there. Now, watch how easy this is. Draw a square. So I got a square there and drag it over so it's the same size, square there. Again, I'm just going to turn them yellow real quick. So I got, and obviously this is, I can't even use my word baseball here because this is a hockey player. So let's go hockey, and I saw a couple blues. So let's go blues, and we'll do a position. We got a right wing, and... Number, we'll stick with 26. So we got blues, shift, magic envelope, hockey, shift, magic envelope, right wing, magic envelope, 26, magic envelope, and there we go. So you just created your own magic envelopes, and select that, get rid of my yellow, change that to white, come over to my mock-ups, click on a car decal, and we have a perfect sample to be able to send to that customer. So, pretty easy? I think it's pretty easy. I mean, I know it's going to save a lot of time for if you're doing something like this, what you're currently doing. So, 
obviously my goal is I want every single one of you to be able to do something like this. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've and honestly, I haven't been working in Corel that long. I've I'm probably I'm probably forty years in, maybe, with Corel Draw. So I am I am definitely not a expert when it comes to Corel. I don't know every feature in Corel. What I do know is I know the features that are going to help the business and the features that I need to know that are going to make everything a lot easier. Um, yes, yes, Christy did have a quick question here as far as centering the envelope. So let me show you what, uh, what I know, I think I know what Christy's talking about here. So watch this. So I'm just control Z, go back a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So with the envelopes here, and let's just say I have my text here and see up here at the top, if I went left, so I did a left text. And I came over here and did a magic envelope. Be because I created that off the start with my center, it's going to do it. But you will notice if you have your text setting set to left or set to right, we tried to, in the magic envelopes, make it to where it didn't matter, where it looks like we did get that fixed. Because even though I have, when I go to my text, even though I have a right alignment, and I click on this and I hit my magic envelope, it is still hitting it perfectly. So it looks, and I know we were working on this this past week, and it looks like with the newest update we just did, it looks like it is already fixing that. So we should be good with that, uh, Christy. Okay, so next thing, masking tips for sign vinyl, single or group order. Okay, we are, Kim, we're going to actually start, now that we're doing a lot more with the sign vinyl and the decals, we're going to start creating a lot more tutorial videos with those as well. So just basically what my goal is is um, to do some type of fundraiser type look to where we design it all with the magic envelopes real quick. We space it right, and then we get it to um, ready to go, send to the cutter. Figure you have a 24-inch. If you have a 24-inch cutter, then normally the decal is 5 to 5 and a half inches, depending range-wise. So you're normally going to be able to fit four decals across, and then... I don't normally like to cut too many, even if I have a cutter that does track very well, is we normally go, I normally go four across in about five to eight rows in length, and that's about as long as I go. So I don't want it to get too crazy, just in case it goes offline a little bit, or what it normally happens, it's always more user error compared to an issue with the cutter. <clears throat> so say, for example, you line up that, that sign vinyl perfectly, or at least you think it's perfect. When it's feeding through the machine and you have your pinch rollers all the way near the edge, when you're 5, 10, 15 feet long in that, it's going to slowly start being a little bit offline just the way that you fed it in because you didn't feed it in perfect. And eventually it's going to kick off that pinch roller if you do a real long cut. So I always like to be safe. I do about 25 or so decals at a time. The great thing about that is you cut off those 25. You start weeding those 25 while the other 25 are cutting. So then you're working and the cutter's working for you at the same time. Okay, um, so masking tips for the sign vinyl. Again, Kim, we're going to start doing a lot more videos with that as well. I know I do have some out there already for layering a two-color vinyl and then also for single colors. Um, can you show how to make the magic envelope again real quick? Yeah, very easy, uh, Kate. Magic envelope, whatever you want to do for it. So literally, it's just any shape that you want. So honestly, if I just grab a square, that's a magic envelope now. So watch, if I wanted hockey to go into this square, and hit magic envelope, hockey's going to fit in there perfect. So what we've done is we've made it so it just drops into any shape that you create. So watch, if I went here and I did and move that up into an arc like that, so I just went to my envelopes, moved it up a little bit, hockey, I hold in shift, click on where I want it to go, magic envelope, and there it is perfect for you. And you can get crazy, of course. Let's say... 
we wanted to do something like this. Oh, not that way. Let's go this way. So obviously it's going to look a little weird, but let's go ahead and magic envelope, and there's my hockey like that. So it, it fits to the shape to give you something to whether whatever kind of shape it is to form the, the letters right in there perfect. Um, Kate, no, you don't have to actually use the envelope tool. So that's what I was saying. Even if you just had a circle and I just drew, let me get to a full circle. If I just drew a circle like that and did hockey, clicked on my circle. Now it's going to look weird when I do vertical, but you can see, you can still read that nice, but it just drops it right into the shape. The only time I'm using envelope is when I want to do different things like drag it up like this or move it to here, things like that to create different shapes. Basically, the envelope is me allowing it because the magic envelope is doing all of the actual envelope part as far as putting the text in. I'm just using the envelope feature to change around the shape of the object. Um, can you use an existing shape? Um, you know what? That's a good question, Linda. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Now, obviously a shape like this, it's not going to work good. So let me just see. I got my hockey player here. I go 26, click on there, magic envelope. Okay, so let's see if I did a fill. That's what I love about doing the webinars like this. We can kind of test stuff as well. So here, boom. Magic envelope. Okay, so there's something with the shape there that I'll have to see. But obviously a 26 isn't going to form to something like this. Where if it's more of like a, a fish shape or a shark or something like that, then you should have no problem with something like that. This is obviously too complex where it isn't going to be able to form the 2 and the 6 around all of these different nodes. Um, a heart? That's a good question. Let's try a heart. On the, you guys are putting me on the spot. Okay, so if I went to my, um, let's see, tools, basic shape tools, there's a heart. And we're going to click on a heart here. And let's go to 26 magic envelope here. And click on this. Let's see if anything, there. So again, it drops it in there, but depending on, and let's see if we get any different results from any other envelopes, if any look any better. So that was vertical. Let's go original. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty cool, but something different. And then let's go putty. Putty's rotating it around like that a little bit as well. And let's see if we rotate. Okay, we can't rotate that much. And then horizontal is always kind of the weird one. So let's go horizontal and Horizontal drops it in like that. So again, very simple as far as you can, but depending on the shape and how it's going to envelope it in is all based off of CorelDRAW and what it does with that object. Okay. Um, Debbie asked if you could use a power clip for that. Debbie, you definitely can use a power clip, but the power clip isn't going to give you the actual lines to be able to cut. Okay. So that's where you're going to come into a big difference there with a power clip is if I had my RW and let's go power clip place inside frame and I drop it there. Now that's inside. The RW fits in there perfect. But watch when I go to wireframe, it's only going to cut the heart. So this would work great if you had a print cut machine and you were doing something like that. But with sign vinyl or with heat transfer vinyl, your power clip isn't going to give you the cut lines that you need, if that makes sense. Uh, putting hockey on top of the hockey puck shape, that would, I mean, the way that a hockey puck shape goes, that shouldn't be a big issue. Yeah, that's something you should be able to do pretty easy. Okay, so... Um, with the envelopes, everybody's got a pretty good grasp on it. I do want to show you two more things with the 2.1 here. I know we're almost up with time-wise, but real quickly, a couple other things that, again, you guys tell us what you want in the wizard, and, and if it's something that's feasible, something that we can do, we try to do everything we can. So 
here's a question that we are getting a lot. Obviously, the the um, magnifying tool here to be able to make it smaller, larger, things like that. That was a big request that we had, so we made sure to have that, and that was in the 2.09. So most of you have probably seen this already. Well, another one that we had was, let's say, for example, you're doing a design, you got five islands to the inside, you want to add stones, do a contour of 0 0.09, you want to change the spacing a little bit to 0.1, you want to corner detect and change your angle a little bit. Okay, and then you do that design, and then you say, okay, now I want to go back to something of my original. What you would normally have to do is go back, and you would have to change this to zero, go back to outside, click off of this, change this back to whatever you want. And again, it was a lot of clicks that were unnecessary. So what we did is you have a little refresh button here. So if I click this little refresh button, Everything's back to my original settings. So whatever settings you actually have saved, just hit that little refresh button, and that's going. So if I did six islands to the inside, I added stones, I did a 0.66 contour spacing with a corner detect and a fade by seven and a decrease by 0 0.08, and say, okay, I'm done with that design, refresh, everything's back to your save settings. So that's a feature that took a, it, it was actually more work involved than I had thought with that, but um, definitely we got that in there because, again, we feel like it's going to save you time and a lot of clicks. Next thing we have is, let's go with one of our, let's just do the number 23 here. So we have the number 23, and we do a place and fill. We're going to do one island to the outside, and we're going to go a contour spacing of, let's say, one. So this is going on the back of a shirt. So let's just say it's like this. So all of you know that it feels like that, and then you want to do glitter with glitter, whatever it is, and you want to do a, um, you want to do the magic trap. Highlight my design. Let me make a copy real quick so I have it. Highlight my design. Let's go to edit. I'm going to go to magic trap. So great, awesome, perfect at Magic Trap. So you'll see the way that it Magic Trap this one is the black is going into the yellow a little bit. Well, let's say we wanted the yellow to be the top layer and the black to be the bottom layer or vice versa. So let's say we want yellow to be bottom and black to be top. So if I move that black to the top, see how it actually decreases my thickness of the yellow? And sometimes with designs, it can actually make it so it doesn't look as good, okay? So watch, if I move this, and I'll change it a different color so we can see it a little bit easier. Probably even a better color than that. Let's go pink. So if I move this black to the back, watch the pink. See how it actually thickens up some? So again, what we did to, because we did have a lot of questions as far as, hey, can I trap it the other way? Well, guess what? Now you can. Highlight the design. We didn't want to add extra buttons. We didn't want to add extra things. Just hold shift and hit magic trap. So I held shift and hit magic trap. Let me turn this to the pink. So now black to the back. So black is my back layer now. And then let me change black to my back layer up here. And you're going to be able to see a difference in the thickness here on the pinks. And I'll do it just to be able to show you a little bit easier here. I'll just make it a, a bigger difference. So let's just go with place and fill and we'll go 0.2 island fill and then change that to our pink there. Let's get rid of our outline and we're going to come over here to our edit tab and now we're going to go point. Uh, six magic trap just to make it a little bit thicker so highlight magic trap so if I wanted my black to be the front layer and pink to be the back layer see how I lost a lot of my thickness if I go the opposite way magic trap again we want the black to be the front layer black front layer so both of these blacks are the front layer but see how much better it looks so the only difference to trap it the opposite way is hold the shift key, and that's going to do a magic trap the opposite way. Easy enough? 
And then as far as I do know that there is a release now for those of you that have the GraphTech CE 6040 or the 6060, X7 for their Cutting Master 3 has been released now. So you can update that on the website. So if you have the GraphTech, that's going to allow you to send directly to your cutter from Corel Draw on the TRW Stone Wizard. Um, had a couple questions come in here as we were doing this. Um, Thomas, the two point the two point one is out now. So just go to your order history, Thomas, and you'll be able to get the two point one now. Um, it's you got an order number. Okay, Thomas, if for some reason you're not seeing it, just just shoot us a call right after the webinar, and we'll get it fixed for you. If for some reason on whatever, if you got a starter kit or or whatever it was that you purchased but you should be able to just go to your order history the files and you'll see 2.1 if not then obviously we'll get that get that uploaded to that um, order history right away um, yesterday's webinar is now available on our YouTube channel those of you that want to see it live we're going to do another one of the exact same thing at 3 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow and we got a lot of webinars coming up. We also have our, um, any of you that are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area is Charlotte, North Carolina. We are going to be at the NBM show next week. So next week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we actually have two free classroom classes there. They're free with the NBM show. So two free classes. I think the classes are on Thursday and Friday at 1130. Um, in Charlotte so those are free and then we're also going to have our live trainings in our actual booth as well where we'll be doing making complete shirts and everything else cool thing about if you come to that class is everybody that attends the class gets a free hundred dollar design download uh, CD that we provide for you at the show and our TRW training guide so we have a pretty cool training guide book that you get if you come to the live class and you get a free CD with a hundred dollars worth of designs on it so and it's free so that's awesome okay um, coming to Denver we were in Denver um, this past year Kate and Jan we actually had our one-day training in Denver as well but um, Denver I do not think NGN is having a show we are in Texas a few times we're in Arlington we're in Houston and we're in Fort Worth I think I think we might be in three different oh I'm sorry yeah I know Denver is not um, Texas I just realized that as I was saying that Denver was the NGN show and Denver will not have um, their show next year sorry Okay, will you be at DAC Chicago? We definitely will. So, Tanya, we'll see you at the DAC Chicago show. Um, St. Louis, Missouri, I don't think St. Louis. And just to give you an idea, and so all of you know, we do have our schedule on the, um, our whole show schedule on the website as well. So, I think we have 20, 23 or 24 different shows next year. Dax, KC, definitely there. Indianapolis, we're definitely there. So yeah, most of them that you're naming, we are there. Some of them, just because obviously there's not a show there. Um, some of them, we aren't there, but we're pretty much all over the place. So hopefully we're close enough to where you can come by and, and check us out. Okay, so um, who, uh, like I ask in every webinar, did everybody learn at least one thing about the TRW Stone Wizard version 2.1 or something that's going to help you with your business, that's going to save you some time or going to help make you some money, which is the most important to make the money? Yes, yes, we want, like I say every time, the reason why we do these free webinars, the reason why we share all this information, and again, the reason why like with the with the template that I showed you guys how to create that actual um, magic envelope well you know what yes you could have come and you could have bought the baseball magic envelopes of the vectors that you've already purchased so yes of course I could have done that 
or I can show you how to create the magic envelope yourself. You can save twenty or thirty dollars, whatever it is, and you know what? That twenty or thirty dollars can now be spent on shirts, or it can be spent on rhinestones, or heat transfer vinyl, or things that are actually going to build your business and make you money. So again, like I always say, our goal is to make your business as successful as possible. The more successful you are, the more shirts that you're selling. I'm, I mean, I understand it. The, the bigger we can make you guys, the more that I can teach you, the more money that you make. We know that that helps TRW as well, so that's why we do everything that we do. Oh, Laverne, I figured someone was going to ask. Okay. Okay, Laverne. Everybody thank Laverne. Normally, as you know, on the free webinars, we don't do coupon codes at the end of it. We normally do all of the coupon codes and stuff for the paid webinars. But everybody is thanking Laverne. So, Laverne, they're all thanking you on my end over here. So, we'll do something similar to yesterday. So, we're going to do all download files. So, download designs, true type fonts, or magic template packages. We're going to do 25% off. So same thing we did yesterday. Code is going to be TRW. Um, TRW Wiz 25. So that was the Wizard webinar, and it's going to be 25% off for the next two hours. So from it's 4.10 now. We have until 6.00. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you have two hours. Those of you who are watching this video as a recorded webinar, um, that is sometimes the benefit of coming to the webinars live like we offer here. So we normally only do them in the paid webinars. We got a lot of a great showing at this webinar today, so Laverne was very nice and asked. And um, everybody's thanking Laverne, 25% off. For the next two hours, today is October 29th from 4.10 p.m. Eastern until 6.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll go ahead and get that coupon code created here in the next five minutes. I see uh, Rudy's in here answering questions. Rudy, are we good with that? Yep. Okay. So we're good with that. TRW Wiz 25, just like you see on the screen, for download designs, true type fonts, and our magic envelope templates. Awesome, awesome. Well, again, sorry, we did go a little bit over today, but I wanted to make sure that we we're answering as many questions as possible, able to help you guys as much as possible, and um, we do look forward to seeing your awesome designs. Those of you who have not come over to our page, the Crafting with Rhinestones and Vinyl Facebook page, make sure to check that out. We have a lot of different freebies that we give away. Obviously, our basic, um, the Rhinestone World Facebook page, our YouTube channel, and any of you, Charlotte, Charlotte area, please make sure to come by, see us. Um, we'll have some awesome training and some awesome classes there, so should be a good time. Okay? All right. Well, again, thank you all very much for taking time out of your day to come hang out with us today. Hopefully, you learned something. We're going to help your business. It's going to help you grow. If you do have any questions at all, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt, Doc Rhinestone, and Rudy Rhinestone with RhinestoneWorld.com, and you guys have a great day.